Hello everyone, this is Yogesh and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about what is overriding, right? So before starting this video, uh, if you're new to our channel, then please subscribe to this channel as well as press the bell icon so that you'll be notified first when you upload our new videos, right? So before, yeah, what before? Let's start the video, right? So uh, yeah, so today we are going to talk about what is overriding, that is method overriding, right? So like on the last videos, I have covered what is overloading. So I guess I have also covered what is polymorphism, types of polymorphism, right? So those things, I guess is clear with you all and today we are going to talk about what is method overriding overloading I guess it is clear because we have covered already if I'm not seen please go and have a look I guess you will be able to understand those things as well if you will watch my videos right so let's start so what is overriding so we can say that for example there are two classes for example a class a and we are having one more class which is class B right if they are inheritance there is an if there is an inheritance that is b is inheriting a right and let's uh, take an example of a display function so we have a display function which is written inside a and we have one more display function same function name is exactly same and i'm writing that function inside b as well so for example we are creating an object of b uh, we are creating an object of B. So, and if you are calling B dot display, right? If you are calling B dot display, so we can see that if the same function is written inside A and B both, if it is written in both, and if we are doing what B is inheriting A, so we can see that if you are calling display function, so this display function will not, uh, is not going to be called. This function will be called. That is, this function is overridden. That is in the flow of code we can see that this display is written first right this function is written first and this is written after that but this function will be called right so we can say that this function is getting overridden this function is getting overridden and instead of this function this function is going to be executed right so let's see through the help of a code why it's exactly happening i will explain that as well right so i guess the overview of overloading is overriding is clear right so let me show through a code so for example we have a class class a right we have a class a simply uh, let's take a uh, this one what to take uh, void uh, void display let's say directly display function so we are making a display function and inside this i am calling super class is called right in this i am printing super class is called let's make one more class b which extends a right which extends a inside this also we will make a display function void display and uh, sorry and inside this we will print uh, that is super class which is subclass subclass is called right so like this i have written the stuffs so we can see that we have a class a we have a class b b is extending that is a that is uh, b is uh, inheriting a and we have a same display functions in both the classes so we can see that when we are going to uh, create an object of b so if we are creating an object of b let's create and when i'm calling b dot display function so below one will be called so let's see let's see in the output only what is being called super class is called or subclass is called so we can see that in the output console we are getting subclass is called that is of a b that is a's function is like in the process we can see that function of a is overridden with this function right so like if you get confused so we can use some annotations that is overridden override if you will use this annotation so you will be able to understand this yeah this function is getting overridden that's why we are using an um or this one annotation override annotation right so this will signify that this function is being overridden with some function which is there in a parent class correct so uh, like how it's happening why this function is called so let's see so when we are creating an object of b right so object of this class is created when we are calling b dot display that is when we are calling the display function of object b so it will first search inside itself it will search inside itself only that is when we if we have created an object of b so it will search inside b class only if this function is available well and good that will be called if that function is not present in the specific class in which we are searching that is uh, inside b if it is not available then it will go towards its parent class that is inside a 
So for example, currently we saw in the output console that we got subclasses called, right? This was printed. That is this display function was called. For example, if I'm commenting, uh, let's not comment. Let's change the name of the function. That is display one. Let's call the name of the function. And now we are not doing any overridden, right? So let's remove this. So let's make a function name for name of the function is display one. Now we have called b dot display. If we will run the code, we will get the uh, upper wala that is su sub, uh, super is called super class is called. You can see that in the output we are getting super class is called. That is this one super class is called. So how it's happening? So we call b dot display. First it will search inside itself. That is if a display function is there or not. So we can see that we don't have any display function. We have display one, but we call display right. So display is not there. Then it will go toward its parent that is inside a and inside a when it will go it will see that a function is already there so it will call that and that's a super class is called is printed right so yeah, this was the concept of overriding i guess method overriding is clear with you all and this annotation is also important because this will signifies whether the function Above which which we are writing overridden so whether this function is overridden or not right so this will help us right so yeah this was everything related to the method overriding i guess this is clear with each and everyone right so yeah that's it but before uh, ending this video if you have really enjoyed this video if you have learned something then please hit the like button and also share with your friends right so that's it let's meet in another video bye bye